Hey, I'm Jay Gregg, and on today's show, we're in Florence, South Carolina at the PD Deer Classic, and we're going to be talking to Steve Scruggs. The show's going to be all about snakes. It's all coming up next. with Jay Gregg. Hey, on our show today, we're in Florence, South Carolina at the PD Deer Classic, and my special guest today is gonna to be Steve Scruggs, the Snake Master. Steve, I feel like I've known you all my life. I've been to all these shows and been watching you since I was young. Well, Jay, you're making me feel low, but that's what it's all about. <laughs> Consider the alternative, I'd rather be there, but well, uh, great to be it with It is you. a pleasure and honor to be Thank sitting you. here right here with you today. Thank you. Um, Steve, tell us a little bit how, how you got into dealing with snakes and how this has turned into a profession. Well, a great question. As a young man, seven years old, 1952, my grandfather said, boy, if you're going to be an outdoorsman, you can't be a sissy. Let me show you how to pick up a snake. And that started the whole thing. <laughs> now, I started doing presentations, I guess, probably 18, 19 years old. And in my military career, traveled around the world twice. Every country I went to, what kind of snakes do we have? And it just got worse. And we started coming to the PD Deer Classic. This is our 16th year. I think it's the PD Deer Classic 17th. Right. But uh, public likes it. They want the information. We try to bring it to them, and that's what we've done. Now, you've traveled all over the United States, haven't you? All over the United States. We've caught snakes pretty much all over the United States, and uh, certainly in the southeast. And my favorite is the Eastern Diamondback, and of course we do the Rattlesnake Roundup in Georgia, and uh, just, just have a great time educating people about snakes and how to be safe and keep from being bitten. Well, it's, it's tis the season, you know, people are getting their deer stands down, they're starting to put them up around trees, and I want to talk a little bit about that too. But first, let's look at some fangs. You want to? I, well, kind of. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do it. Now, Steve, this is about as close as I've ever been to a snake, and uh, that's a rattlesnake, I know that, but what type of rattlesnake is it? Jay, most of your deaths in North America are caused by the Western Diamondback. This is a very deadly snake. This is a Western Diamondback, and there's a reason that we bring it to the PD Deer Classic. Here you have the Eastern Diamondback, mm -hmm. one of the most feared, one of the most dangerous snakes in North America. It's certainly in South Carolina. But here's the reason I brought the Western, to show people the difference. Most of your deaths in North America from snake bite or from the Western Diamondback. Now, you said earlier, let's see some fangs. Oh, he's getting upset, but I'm not gonna <laughs> let go of him. He knows what he wants to do, and what he wants to do is turn around and put those fangs in yes, my hands. Yes, right. my hands are sweating. And, and I have to think like the snake. <laughs> I have to think, but I can feel him doing and trying to do certain things that the TV camera can't feel and the mm -hmm. audience can't feel, feel it and I want on. them to know that. And that's why I've got such a death grip on him. Now, I'm not hurting the snake. He can still take in air, but we're going to see these fangs. And he hates this, but here are the two fangs. Drop down. There Jeez. they are. And they're hollow like a hypodermic needle, and all he has to do is touch you, and you've been envenomated, see. And that's some of the most toxic venom of any snake in North America, some of the most toxic. He carries 320 milligrams of venom. He can strike you multiple times. And the thing I've learned over the years with my research, he has seven sets of fangs. If he loses one, breaks one, within 72 hours, he'll move another he'll one have up. have another one. Another one up so he can do a number on you. See, now, we're going to put this guy up, and we're going to see a big timber rattler. But if you're now, where, looking, where is he found out west? Is that west correct? of the Mississippi, Arizona, Texas, Oklahoma, those kind of states. That's where he's at. Yeah, and he'll grow to six feet long. How, how long is that one there? This one here is about three and a half. And Jeez. he's got about 10 or 12 buttons or rattles. And uh, the fingernails, your fingernails, you have something in common with a rattlesnake. Your fingernails and his rattles are made out of the same stuff. It's called keratin. It's a protein. And he's replacing them. Exactly. And every time he sheds his skin, which is four times a year, he'll create another button. They're wow. all the same. What a fascinating creature. Okay, let's look at a timber rattler. And okay. then we're going to talk a little bit about the venom and medicine and so forth. Steve, this, which snake is this one? 
Jay, this is a timber rattlesnake. South Carolina, I think you call it a cane break. Cane break and timber have the same DNA. I call it a timber rattlesnake. He's a nice one. Now this is a little bit of your more aggressive one right here, right? This one is, yes he is. Jeez, man. Oh. Got it, got it. Watch my glasses there, Miss Sharon. Hold right there, sir. Hold right there, sir. Now he's under control. Now, Steve, tell me a little bit about the boots you got on there. That's pretty stiff and stiff and Jay, right hold him right the, there. The only thing that allows me to do this and feel safe about it are my Rocky snake boots. Uh, Rocky and I got together about 15 years ago. Yeah, they've been with you a long time. A long time, it? and uh, it's a boot that I trust. I, if the snake strikes the boot, everybody's still safe. He can't bite through it. I've done this a thousand times with these Rockies. And uh, this is a bad guy here, but I trust these boots. No matter where he might hit that boot, you're safe. Let me get him <clears throat> under control. Get that head pinned down. And he hates this right there, sir. Right there, sir. Right there. You're okay. Now, mm. he's fine. Let me get him right there. And you see that mouth come open. Right here. Now, that's, I expected that. And what he's Ooh. trying to do is thrash out of my hand. This snake, very dangerous, has a bad attitude. A lot of these guys are fairly calm once you pick them up. And see, he's trying to get my attention. That rattle, the business well, end is what, right he's, here. He's got my attention. <laughs> <laughs> the business end is right here, and I can feel him when he's trying to twitch and jerk and so forth, and that's why you never loosen your grip. And uh, the head, you can see, and Mr. Sharon, if I can have that fang stick, you can see how puffy it is right here and right here. Mm -hmm. 320 milligrams of venom. You so see it's in his <clears throat> cheeks. That's in the cheek, right behind the eye. And he has a muscle that surrounds that pouch. And when he wants to envenomate, he just squeezes. <clears throat> There's a line that runs up, a duck line that runs up from the pouch here to the fang. And we'll see his fangs. Let's see this. We'll go ahead and drop them down. Got a nice set of fangs. There you are, sir. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Oh, a nice healthy set. And look at that. And right now, you can't, I just got to tell you this. He just tried to twitch and turn that head. See, he doesn't like that at all. But uh, very dangerous animal. And uh, we'll get him put back in the cage and I'll look at him, but uh, 320 milligrams of venom, very toxic, very toxic. Mr. Steve, is he shedding? I see his skin kind shedding. of up. He'll shed four times a year. Four times a year he'll shed, and he is shedding. He's in the process of shedding right now. now how many rattles does he have? I, I haven't counted these. I get so used to it he, that that's something. He's got something. a ton of them back there. He's got a ton of them back there. And the thing about it, just in front of those rattles, he has two musk glands and he'll spray you with that. You've heard people say a rattlesnake smells like a wet dog. Right. That's those that's two musk glands. Smells. That's what it is. But my hand's cramping a little bit. Let's yeah, put yeah, him yeah. back you in the cage. Let's put him back in the cage. Let's put him back in the cage. That's a good now, place for what him. he's going to try to do, when I let go of that head, he's going to try to bring the head around and tag my hand. I can't let that happen. I'm going to show you how we prevent that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. He knows exactly what he's doing. So Get he's back kind in of that trained cage, to this, this show now. Isn't he? Now here's what we do. Watch him. Whoo! Look at that. Look at that. Wow, trying to come out. Trying to come out. Look at that. That is a bad dude. And he knows what he is. Look at that. Look at that. Get back. Look at that. Oh. Get back in that cage. Look at that. Man, what a great snake. You are a dandy. There you go, sir. Wow. Stay tuned. When we come back, we'll be taking a look at our friend, the Eastern Diamondback. Welcome back. We're at the PD Deer Classic. Here with my friend Steve Scruggs, the snake master, and we're getting ready to look at an eastern diamondback. Steve, how big is that snake? He this looks was a like big a one. monster. This is a big one. He is an absolute monster. Oh, you got two of them in the gray, sure. He is a monster. <laughs> Golly, look at that thing. And clamp stick. Now, how big will he get? Uh, right now in Georgia, the record is 11 feet 1 inch. Uh, the snake weighed 93 pounds. There was just a huge rattlesnake killed that I got an email picture of before coming over here yesterday. And uh, this one is a four and a half feet. Uh, the bad news is they have the longest fangs of any snake in North America, over an inch, and they carry more venom than any snake in the world, 850 milligrams. Now I'm gonna pin this one down. We're gonna see have those you fangs. Had him? Pardon? How long have you had him? Uh, he came out of the wild Sunday two weeks ago. Oh, man. On he's a snake hunt we did in Georgia. Yes. And he, he may want some of the Rocky boot. I don't know. You want some of that boot? You okay? You all right? He's all right. Look at that. Look at you. Don't wreck! Oh, there's Good a little strike Lord. for you. But let's see what kind of fangs he has. 
I don't know if I've looked at him before, but we can pin him down. Don't want to hurt him. Right there, sir. Easy. Right there. There you go. There you go. Right there. You're okay. You're okay. Yeah, there we are. That's a big rattlesnake. Look at that. Steve. Jake, you ought to at least touch one while I'm here. Go ahead and grab that tail. Mm. Grab that tail. Grab that tail. It's your only opportunity. Look at that. Grab that tail. I got him up you here. You got him? Yeah, I got him. Oh, Look God. Boom. I can feel every muscle. Oh, in it's it. nothing but a muscle with a head on it. And Miss Sharon, look at that. Look at that. Oh, no, Yay. fake. There he comes. Look at that. Hook. Look at that. Oh, Man, he, he would do mad, a number on you. He would do a number on you, and let's see what these fangs look like. Now, the reason your head is so big, you have all that venom right behind that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. All that venom in a pouch here, and all that venom in a pouch here. Look at that. And let's just show those fangs, big boy. You want everybody to see them? Look at that. He's got a double fang. Absolutely. Well, he's getting ready to shed one of those. One of those will come out. He'll shed it and probably swallow it. But now I want the audience to know, it's all I can do to hold this guy. Yeah, he's I got a, man. a grip on him, and it's all I can do to hold him. Yeah. But look at that. That's exactly how it looks when that snake strikes you. That mouth is wide open. 850 milligrams of venom. And this guy cannot bite through that rocky boot. He can't do it. He can't get his he can't needles do it. through it. And that's the reason I can, I can bring him out. I can throw him on the floor. All I got to do is step on him. If he bites the boot, everybody's still safe. Everybody's still safe. Look at that. What a snake. You're a good snake. Look at that. Now, Steve, Very good. I fish a lot, and I'm in that swamp a lot. This is the man right here that I have to look for all the time. Cottonmouth will swim in the water. The head and three-fourths of the body is on top of the water. Looks like a log with a head, and he's coming towards you, okay? So that's what he does. 320 milligrams of venom. And uh, when they bite a human, what they do, Jay, is hang on. And all the time he's hanging on, what's he doing? Pumping venom into you. Look at that. And this one's cold. The only reason he's well, acting like he's acting. We're in air like condition, acting. right? You what, sir? We're in air condition, so he is cold. We're in air condition. He, I mean, he wouldn't be this way at all. You know, he'd be pumped up outside 100 degrees. Oh, man. But cotton mouth, 320 well, you know, milligrams everybody of Everybody that sees a water snake, a red belly water snake, they automatically say that's a cotton, cotton mouth. mouth. No, it's not. Isn't it true that, that that water snake is trying to look like him? Trying to mock him, trying to look like him. Cotton mouth always has that dark brown stripe across the eye, each side of the head. Got a very triangle head. But when they swim in the water, your water snake, only the head will be out of the water. Make that squiggly little move and they'll dive underwater mm -hmm. and come back up. You're still there. He's not going to do that. He's going to come see who you are. And check head you out. and body is on top of the water. Check you out. And I'll tell you, fisherman, if that head comes over the side of the boat, he can bring the body to come over the side of the boat. Well, he yeah. can have the boat, fish, and everything. I can everything. tell you that. Well, let's <laughs> put him back in the pen there. Put him back in there, but you couldn't do this. Look at that. Just a snapping away. You couldn't do it. I wouldn't do it if I didn't have these rocky boots on. I was hoping to get a little strike there. Look at that. Look at that. Right in the side. Guys, the boots work. It's time to put him up. He's yeah, gone he, bananas. Yeah, he's a little mad there. He's gone bananas. Is that a male or a female? That is a male right there. That's a male. That's a male. Miss, thank you, Miss Sherry. Miss Sherry, I'll tell you what. Very good. Steve, thank you so much for your time. Thank now, you. Now, you do a lot of other wildlife stuff. How, I mean, you've done how many children and stuff over the years? Just millions? Jay, I started my outdoor education program in September 1992. Since then, I've done a million, 300,000 children. And this was wow. our 10th year for the outdoor wilderness camp where we teach kids ages 10 to 13 about the outdoors. Love affair with nature. We love working with kids, okay? And yeah. it's working. It's working. Now, you can go to my website. Let's get wild.net, okay? Mm -hmm. Got a toll free number, 866 880 9453. We teach kids about the outdoors. Well, Steve, thank you so much. Let me tell you how easy it is to get in touch with Steve. I called him, Miss Sharon answered the phone. Within 10 minutes, Steve called me back. And man, I just, I really thank you for taking time and being with us today well, on the show. Thank you for having us on, and uh, God bless you, and good luck to you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's show. I've got to go skydiving now and touch a live rattlesnake. Until next week, get out and enjoy your Carolina outdoors.